Yan guys, welcome to another episode of Quiz Me with Kripski. Nandito po ang ating guest ngayon, si Sir R.D. Sir, Hi. makilala ka naman. Good evening. Hi, um, uh, ako, I'm R.D. So, I'm the Principal Solutions Architect of CloudSol Philippines. Ayun, CloudSol Philippines. Um, sir, uh, certified ka ba? Certified po. Uh, certified Solutions Architect Associate. Ayun. So, sir, uh, sa araw-araw mong uh, as a Principal SA, ano yung work, uh, parang daily work mo dun? Basically, uh, pumakausap ako sa mga um, business people, tapos tinatranslate ko yung needs nila into something na pwede namin solusyonan, na pwede namin i-architect yung improvements and solutions sa mga problems nila. So, basically, ganun. So, architecture and implementation. Architecture and implementation. Pwede ko ba matanong, sir, kung ilang uh, servers or gano'ng kalaki yung mga, yung, gano'ng kadami yung hawak mo? Ah, at the moment, konti pa lang naman kasi medyo nag-start pa lang yung company. Mm-hmm. So, mga, mga ano pa lang kami, mga uh, three or four clients pa lang. Mm-hmm. Um, tapos, medyo small scale pa rin lang naman. Uh, may isang construction company kami nakuha lang recently. Yun yung malaki. Pero, nothing to... Uh, may mga uh-huh. malipa lang. Uh-huh. Hindi pa thousands. Hindi pa thousands. Hindi pa thousands. Alright, uh, so sir, um, handa ka na ba sa ating questions? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, ito na. First question. Okay. Route 53 does not support zone apex records, naked domain names. Okay. True, false, it depends, US is one. I think false kasi Route 53 does support zone apex records. Uh-huh. Anong na uh, tal dito? Alam mo ba itong uh, naked domain names? Anong ibig sabihin? Naked domain name, pag sa pag may domain name ka, siya yung walang www, walang any subdomain sa harap. So, sa labawa, kribski.com. Mm-hmm. Wala pa yun. Yun yung, yung, yun yung naked or zone apex. Uh, walang www. Walang www. Uh-huh. Kasi sa browser, minsan pag magta-type, type, type ka ng automatic. parang automatic na. Uh-huh. Right, so ang sagot mo dito ay... I think false kasi sino support niya yan. False. So, tignan natin yeah. kung false nga dapat, guys. False nga. Okay, good start. Good start tayo. Try another one. Ano, madadali pa. Oo. May exe yung uh, tanong mo, ha? Sorte, sorte. Okay. Uh, let's do this. After successfully uploading a file to S3, what HTTP response code should you expect to see? 200, 300, 400, or 500. Mm-hmm. So usually, pag HTTP, yung success code, 200 yan. Mm-hmm. So 300 is, 400 is redirect, 500 is server, ah, 400 is client error, 300 is redirect, 500 is server error. Ah, yun so yun tayo sa 200. So sa 200, okay. So again, uh, 300, yun yung ano, 301, parang uh, redirect, uh, redirect, no? Uh, 404, 404, yun na lagi nakikita. Client error. No? Para um, page not found. Page, no? uh, isa sa mga favorite numbers ko yun, 404. <laughs> <laughs> 500, parang oops. Parang doon na yun. Server header. Oh, server header. So, 1. Ayan, tinan natin. 1 yung sulat mo, sir, no? 1. Okay, 1. Okay, 1 nga. Yes. Next na tayo. Ayan, may nagpapapa. Ito, mahaba ba? <laughs> you are supporting a data processing application which runs on EC2 instance running GP2. Ano to graphic? Graphics ba GP2? Or tinatanin, GP2 storage and currently performs around 10,000 reads per ra- end write or per slash writes per second. Reads or writes ato to, per second. Your sales and marketing teams are planning to introduce a number of additional reports which are expected to at least double ang magiging 20,000. The current workload for your application. How can you ensure that the performance of your application does not suffer when the new reports are introduced? Okay. Ayan. Bayang bago. Number one. So number one, upgrade to an instance type with greater CPU and memory capacity. Number two, change storage class to provision uh, <coughs> sorry, IOPS. Number three, migrate all your data to DynamoDB. Number four, increase the storage capacity of your GP2 volume. Oh, 
medyo may tindi to. May tindi. Okay, balikan natin. Balikan natin yung question. Balikan natin yung question. Okay. Ayan. Ano yung mga keywords na hinahanap po dito, sir? So, nakita natin data processing. Tapos, easy to install. GP to search, storage. Tapos, read and write. 10,000. Read and write ka. Tapos, dadagdagan nila ng double yung current workload. Oo. So, at least pa. So, dapat magiging 20,000 reads and writes na yun. So, ano itong kailangan gawin? Medyo mahirap yung tanong. Okay. So, mag-process of elimination. Oo. Sige. Sige. Ang hinahanap, hindi naman yung storage capacity. Kasi yung read-write, yung hinahanap eh, yung IOPS. So, tanggal na natin si 4. Tanggal na natin yung 4. Okay. Tapos, um, sin... Masyadong hassle kung i-migrate kay DynamoDB kasi baka may code change pa doon mm-hmm. sa application. Tagalin natin siya. Tapos, uh, upgrade to instance type o greater CPU and memory capacity. Hindi naman yun yung tanong. Hindi naman CPU and memory. So, doon tayo sa i-provision IOPS natin. I-provision IOPS natin, no? Uh, so, number two yung sagot ni sir. Tinan natin, number two nga ba? Provision IOPS. Number two, ha? <laughs> So, para lang sa mga hindi alam sir, ano ang ibig sabihin pag provision IOPS? Provision IOPS, uh, reserved siya. May reserved number of uh, read-write IOPS tayo. So, initially, kasi pwede yung walang provision, so depende lang kung ilan yung... Yung pala elastic siya. Uh-huh. Or provision, nagre-reserve ka na in expectation sa mas malaking uh-huh. IOPS sa future. So, may guaranteed input guaranteed. and output per second. Correct. So, guarantee. Parang hihingin mo, kailangan ko talaga na ganito kadami. Yes, sir. Na transactions. So, next. Ito, mahaba rin. Yan, tamang na. Okay, game. You are attempting to launch a number of on-demand EC2 instances, but the launch operation fails with an insufficient instance capacity error. What does this error mean? Okay. Number one, AWS does not currently have enough on-demand capacity available to complete your request. Number two, there is a region-wide problem with EC2. Number three, you have exceeded the no- default limit for the number of instances you are allowed to launch in a single region. And number four, you have selected an instance type which does not have sufficient capacity to run the operating system. Ang advantage nito, na-encounter ko to first hand. Oh, wow! Galing yeah. na! <laughs> so, wow. okay. so, tingin ko number three. Pero, pwede naman din tayo mag-eliminate. Uh-huh. So, in, elim- I think eliminated yung number one. Kasi, hindi pwede yun. Kasi, cloud nga siya. So, supposedly, dapat elastic siya. Mas para sabihin ni AWS na wala siyang capacity. Para, kumusta ka naman? <laughs> Baka Google Cloud na lang kami. So, number two. <laughs> <laughs> or number two. There's a region-wide problem with EC2. Um, I think malabo. Iba dapat yung error. Iba dapat yung error. error. Okay. Tapos number four, you have selected an instance type which does not have sufficient capacity to run the operating system. I don't think operating system level yung issue. Mm-hmm. So, parang tanggal na siya. So, three. Sana. Three. Tawang sa kanya. Three. Amang sagot. Yeah. Yung error ay tawag insufficient instance capacity. Yeah. Okay. Atin natin number three nga ba? Ayan, wrong! Actually, number one yung sagot, guys. Oo. Uh, explanation dito, kahit nasa cloud tayo, may mga ibang uh, instant classes talaga. Especially yung mga special ones na nauubos yun. Uh, yung mga, I think yung mga P1, F1, pag sobrang daming, yung mga supercomputer. Oo. Pag sobrang daming gumagamit no, at the same time, naubos talaga yun minsan. Uh, ang ginagawa ng AWS, I guess, is uh, pinipredict niya yung demand, though, over time, dadagdagan niya rin. Pero nagkakaroon talaga ng chances na ganito. So, kahit actually anong cloud, hindi talaga <laughs> super unlimited. Uh, virtually unlimited lang. So, kung magkaka-error kayo na ganito, ang suggestion ko actually sa inyo is, number one, open kayo ng support. Okay. Uh, especially kung ganito yan, most likely naka-enterprise level ka na, na support na okay. At uh, contact niyo yung concierge team, tapos sasabihin niyo, guys, kailangan niyo ng ganito para either maka-release sila or ma-point kayo sa, baka sa ibang, uh, minsan sa ibang AZ meron. Uh, okay, so try tayo ng another one. Ayan. 
Eh mahaba din ulit. Uh, <laughs> yan. Alis uh, to mga mahaba questions eh. Yeah, hey, okay. Sige. You have developed a new web application in the US West 2 that requires six Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 instances running at all times. You have three availability zones available in that region, the US West 2A, US West 2B, and US West 2C. You need 100% fault tolerance. If any single availability zone in US West 2 becomes unavailable, which of the following answers offers two correct solutions to this scenario? Okay. Okay. So, what is the iwan sa memory, mo, sir? Kailangan. So, may tatla tayong ano, uh, availability, uh, easy availability okay. zone, pero kailangan 100% fault tolerance. Kapag yung buong easy, namatay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, dapat may ibang easy pa buhay. May easy buhay siya. And kailangan running 6, 6 at all times. 6 pala yun. yun uh, 6. 6 at all times, no? Okay. So, uh, US... Uh, so, uh, one is uh, US, uh, US 2A, dalawang instance. Two. Sa USB, dalawa. Two, okay. Tapos sa USC, dalawa. Two, two, two. two. Okay, okay. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, solution 2. No, parang haba ng question. Uh. Solution 2. <laughs> US West A, 6. Six, six. Okay. Tapos 6. Six, 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 zero. And 0. Okay. okay, may solution 1. So, dalawa. Dalawa yung binigay niyang solutions. Okay. So, number 2. Sa 2A, 6. Okay. Sa, U, sa 2B, 6. Okay. And sa 2C, wala din. Zero okay. instance. Okay. Pero sa solution 2 niya, US, US 2A with 3. three. Uh, USB with 3. three. And uh, 2C with 3. Okay. 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 Sa solution 3, okay. yung 2A. Ah, uh, well, may show more actually, sir. <laughs> US West 2A with 3. Okay. USB with 3. USC with no instance. Okay. Ah, uh, yung solution 2 niya ay uh, 2A with 3, okay. USB with 3, okay. and 2C with 3. Okay. Tapos yung 4, solution niya is yung 2A 3, uh, USB 2 3 din, tapos C is 3. Okay. Tapos yung solution 2 niya is uh, USA with 4, USB with 2, and USC with 2. Nako, uh, mapapamat tayo dito. <laughs> okay, yung, yung ano ka dyan, mm -hmm. napupusuan ko, yung number 2. Number 2, tingnan natin ulit, okay. balikan natin number 2 okay. yan. Kasi kahit anong easy yung mamatay dyan, kung mm -hmm. balik natin solution 1. So, 2A, 660. So, pag yung 0 namatay, okay lang, 0 naman talaga. Oh. Pag namatay yung A or B, yung 12 mo magiging 6. Mm -hmm. Masang sa requirements. Back cost of requirements, tama. Sa requirement 2 naman. Sa solution 2 niya. Solution 2, oh. sorry. 3, 3, 3. So, meron kang 9. Mm -hmm. pag, pag okay ang lahat. Pero pag may namatay na A, B, or C, isa lang naman yung easy mm -hmm. na mawawala, magiging 6. So, mm -hmm. pasok pa rin dun sa... So, pasok sa uh, conditions. Sa conditions. So, ang sagot dito ay 2. 2, I think. Uh, 2. 2. Um, pili tayo ng isa, no? Tignan natin kung ano mangyari kung nwari sa dito sa solution 4. Okay. Ito... 3, 3, 3, and 3. Yes. Ito, sir, parang Actually, ito, sa solution 1. Sa solution 1, mukhang pasok siya. Pasok? Kasi 9 siya. Tapos may, basta may mamawala na isa. 6 pa rin naman eh. Ah. Ang problema, I think, yung solution 2. Solution 2, tira natin. Uh, 4, four two, 2, and 2. Ang problem sa kanya, pag yung 2A namatay, apat na lang yung matitira. Uh, wala na minimum. Wala na siya Pero kung 2B or 3C mamatay, Yes, pasok pa rin. Pasok Kasi pa rin. 4 plus 2 is 6. Oo, yeah. Pero syempre, hindi tayo makakapili kung ano madadaw. No? Uh, I mean, kung emergency nga or fault tolerance, baka nga yung A yung mawala. And so, okay. hindi na siya pasok. Uh, so, yung sagot mo dito, sir, ay yung number 2, no? Number 2. So, yung 660 or 333. Yes. Okay, number 2. Ayan. Yeah. Sabi, nice work daw. Uh, pakita ko lang na tama yun, no? Yun, tama. Nice work, nice work. Okay, pang, uh, I think pang last question na natin, okay. sir. Di ka lima na eh. Yan. Okay, Kim. You have been asked to decouple an ap application by utilizing SQS. The application dictates that messages on queue can be delivered more than once, uh -huh. but must be delivered in order. 
that they have arrived and also must allow for efficient repeated potting of the queue. Which of the following options are most suitable? Number one, configure a standard SQS queue and use default poly. Ayan, uh, nung, uh, parang pwede ba o anong naisip po dito? Parang hindi, kasi ang sabi niya dito. So, ang sabi sa question? question kailangan can be delivered more than once but they must be delivered in order. In order, kailangan. Dapat in order. Sunod-sunod. Oh. Kasi ang standard behavior ng SQS natin, hindi guaranteed yung order. Kahit mm-hmm. anong order siya. So, dapat kailangan natin ng first in first out trend. Mm-hmm. So, tanggal na agad, I think, yung one and three. Number one and three. Okay. So, so yun na. Yung number two? Okay. Yung number two, sorry. Yun, uh, so, pala pala pala. Uh, so, number two, configure a fee for first in first out SQS queue and enable long polling. Tapos number three, configure a standard SQS queue and use long polling. Yan, sabi mo nga, hindi pwede na to kasi hindi siya, siya fee for, no? Wala siyang ordered guarantee. Correct. Tapos number four, configure a FIFO SQSQ and enable short polling. So two or four na lang yung option. Na. Tapos ang tanong niya, must allow for efficient repeated polling of the queue. Yun. Yan yung tayo na. Dito, ito yung keyword na hinahanap. Efficient. 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 Uh-huh. Yan. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, patanong. <laughs> Sige. Uh, two. Two. And Ay. people long polling. Long polling. Uh, ano ba ang, uh, alam mo ba anong long polling versus short polling? Okay. Ang, uh, yung long polling na gamit ko na siya sa development. Mm-hmm. Um, usually yung normal behavior. Um, so magtatanong ka na magtatanong sa pag-respond siya. Yung mm-hmm. cue kung may nakapila. Long polling pag wala nang nakapila, uh-huh. stop lang muna siya. Mag-wait siya ng mag-wait siya doon sa pa, bagong papasok. Pag pumasok sa kababayan ko sa pool. Mm-hmm. May parang uh, long polling na maghihintay siya nang maghihintay siya. At, parang at most 20 seconds pa okay. rin So ang ang, ang advantage noon, um, nababawasan yung pitek, yung request. Mm-hmm. Pero yung heart beat na correct kasi uh-huh. pag very short, yeah, pag pool ka lang po, tapos wala namang wala naman pumapasok. Sayo mo si Pio, sayo ka. Ah, oh, tama. Parang lagi ka nagtatanong kahit, kahit, kahit walang laman. Correct. Uh-huh. So, hindi efficient yun. Hindi efficient. Mas efficient na maghintay minsan. Tama. Okay, tingnan natin yung kung... Uh, <laughs> so, ang sagot mo dito ay number two, sir, di ba? Yes, sir. Okay, long polling. Alright, tama. Congrats, sir. Uh, four out of five. Tama ba yung bina natin to? Four out of five, no? Okay, uh, pasado pa rin. Pasado. Oo. So sir, um, bago tayo mag-end, anong uh, advice mo sa ating mga viewers? Ayun, um, advice ko lang, <coughs> uh, ample preparation pa rin talaga. Kasi nung nag-take ako, uh, nagpa-practice na ako. Kasi ako software developer, pero nag-de-devops din. Mm-hmm. Uh, parang naging full stack. Mm-hmm. Pero still, uh, nag-alot ako ng actually six months eh. Wow. Na, kasi ayoko talaga kung magano umulit. So, oh. shadow percent shoot ah, tayo. Sure. <laughs> so, ano yan, i-cloud guru yung ano ka talaga, reference material ko dyan. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos paulit-ulit-ulit lang talaga hanggang sa, well, may ginawa you know, din ako yung exam, paulit-ulit ko siya sinagot hanggang sa 100% ko siya. Mm-hmm. Yun yung, so, basically repetition and study and ample preparation yung lang talaga yung re-recommend ko sa mga pag-take ng, ng exam. Alright, cool. So, nagda-devops ka rin pala, sir, no? Uh, yes, sir. Alam mo ba itong, itong uh, ito? All-day devops? Ayun. <laughs> Yan. Ayun. Uh, alam mo yun, uh, ano siya? Yung conference, online conference. Actually, okay. kata, ano lang, nung uh, November... Nung Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Oo. Uh, magandang conference din yun, guys, every year. Uh, puntahan niyo yun, no? Online conference devops. Sir, uh, bago tayo mag-end up, last ano lang, uh, gaano ka-important ang DevOps ngayon sa AWS? Oh, yeah. Sobrang important na siya ngayon. Kasi, nung unang panahon, nung kapainto na kaibigan ko, may mga physical servers pa. Mm. Tapos, may isang sikat na social media company na defunct na. 
stuff nila. So it took a while bago na up yung yung social network na yun. Ah, I see. So eh, malayo na narating ng DevOps since then. So wala hindi na tayo nagdi-deal with physical servers, virtual servers na lang. Tapos hindi na tayo kailangan mag-purchase mm-hmm. kasi dati pa purchase order ka, papadaan mo sa account, mm-hmm. ganun, 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 wala nang ganun, click mo na lang, may server ka na. So sobrang importante ang DevOps ngayon. Dahil sa efficiency, it's number two, it allows companies to experiment. Mm-hmm. Sobrang cheap na lang experimentation. Kasi pag gusto mo experiment, gawa ka ng instance. Pag tapos ka na, patayin mo na siya. Ay, sila, so, tama, it tama, enables tama. innovation. Dun sa, lalo na sa mga small companies na mas limited yung, yung funding. Alright. Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, like and subscribe. And of course, pwede nyo kayo mag-comment. Wala tayong comments so far masyado <laughs> sa channel natin. Uh. Alright, thank you guys. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.